What, so just every billionaire wants to be president now? Wait, I like Mark Zuckerberg. Welcome back to the Weekly Roundup. My name is Jack O'Brien. And yes, that's right, Mark Zuckerberg might be running for president in 2020. Mark Zuckerberg is the sixth richest person in the world, and he's already pledged to donate 99% of his wealth. So even though Donald Trump is rich, Mark Zuckerberg just makes him look like daddy's money. But could Mark actually do this? And the answer is actually yes. He has the resources, he has the publicity, and he's basically already the leader of the free world of the internet, which is Facebook. Mark has made sure to keep his reputation in good shape over the past several years, and he's made an effort to separate himself from many of the other tech CEOs. One of the ways in which he has recently done this was by sending his second in command to Donald Trump's tech summit, where many other CEOs from the tech industry such as Elon Musk attended themselves. So Mark Zuckerberg has definitely made an effort to separate himself from many of the other tech CEOs. But if Mark does choose to run, he will definitely face Trump as an incumbent, and Trump might just be promising to send humans to Mars by 2024. 2024 is the year in which Elon Musk and SpaceX think that they will be able to successfully send humans to Mars. Mark Zuckerberg, of course, would be promising the same thing. The only difference is that Trump might have already sent humans back to the moon. Now this is not confirmed, but we do know that Trump wants to see more space exploration. Trump has mentioned in the past how the Apollo missions helped unite the country, something which we might be needing now. Now I know that the moon isn't as good as Mars, but making that first step is significant, and who knows, maybe we'll get a cool moon base. And finally, if you're tired of having to wait for Microsoft HoloLens, well, you're still gonna have to wait, but there are going to be augmented reality glasses that will hit the market this year. ODG will be releasing their two glasses, the R8 and the R9, in the second quarter of this year. These glasses are built using Qualcomm's Snapdragon 835 chip. These two models will be priced at $1,600 US dollars and will be standalone Android devices, so there's no need to worry about the Bluetooth connection with your phone. ODG's glasses are some of the first to target the average consumer, and while the price is still pretty steep, think about how much it will drop over the next year due to competition. These glasses are just the first step to a new age of technology, and it's good to finally see it happen. So what do you guys think? Do you think that Mark Zuckerberg really is going to run for president? And how about these new AR glasses? Are you going to try and get your hands on them this year or just wait for the price to go down? Let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.